Well, I'm in Rill Station, just waiting for my uh, train to better Sukhoid. First time that I've ever been on a train. I've always driven to Betos, so it was a bit of a novelty. Well, just arrived in Betos Sukhoid, Snowdonia National Park in North Wales, and Looks like it's uh, going to be a bit of a showery day today. Okay, I'm going to make my way up to a place called Rudolion. It's uh, an abandoned village of Rudolion, or the ghost village is sometimes called, or the lost or forgotten village. Uh, several ways you can get to it, um, but the way I'll be going is up past St Mary's Church in front of me now, up high up into the Gwydir Forest, past a reservoir called Llyn Elsie, which actually supplies Betos with its water. And then um, I'll be joining a, a Roman road called um, San Helen. And then I'll be making my way into the village itself, the derelict buildings. And then I'll be making my way back down the Roman road, San Helen, uh, just the other side of Pentra D, which is... <coughs> up in that direction there, and then back into Betos itself. So that's where I'm heading for now, behind St Mary's Church there, high up into the Gwydir. So let's get going. Well, as you can see there, 11 o'clock on St Mary's Church there. Just uh, starting my climb up now into the Gwydir Forest. And it looks like they've had a good shower. It's quite a few puddles everywhere. Uh, so, and I think it is going to be a bit of a showery day today. But you never know. Just about to turn off this uh, road now onto the track. Bit of a steep climb. You can see there, it's, uh, all these walks are all mapped out. That's where I've started. You can see that white way mark there. That's the one I'll be following up to Slyn Elsie. And then I'll be making my way back down that way. Rudolion's somewhere here. Obviously not on this map. So, let's get going. I really love the beginning of this walk to Llyn Elsie. It's so steep and it really gets the blood flowing, gets your muscles working right from the start. I love it. Probably doesn't look so steep on camera but you can take it from me. It is one hell of a climb. But I love it. Well, there's the monument, Lynn Elsie, and there's the reservoir itself. That's the reservoir that actually supplies water to Better Sequoid. Nice and calm today too. I was here last week on a uh, wild camp and it was nice and sunny, but breezy, very breezy up here, but it's nice and calm today. Might get the odd shower, but so far it hasn't been too bad. Anyway, I'll have a 
a couple of butties to drink and then I'll be making my way to the ghost village which is over in that direction I got a probably a couple of miles to go but anyway it's a cracking view of Flanelsi for me the dam right at the far end where I do my infamous dam walk which I've got that covered on a few videos I did it uh, last week with a full backpack and it was windy as well but if you've got a head for heights and you can swim you're not too bad so anyway like I say I'll have uh, some to eat now some to drink and then be making my way to through Olion. Well, the first shower of the day for me anyway. Very light rain though at the moment. Shouldn't speak too soon though. Well, some free range eggs for sale, yeah? For sale, free range eggs. One pound, half a dozen. Please help yourself and put the money in the tin provided the Olcom Vowed. Oh, look. Nice eggs there. Eh? I won't be buying any today though. Pretty pissing down now. It did say showers. Okay, just about to leave this forest track now. And this is the old Roman road, San Helen. Goes right past Ruthalion. And this is the way I'll be returning as well, but I won't be return I'll be returning on in this section. Uh, but I won't be returning past Lynn Elsie. I'll be dropping down into Betos on the uh, San Helen Roman Road. Not far off through all you're now, probably half a mile, something like that. And the sun's coming out too. Quite a heavy shower earlier on, but lovely now. So yeah, this is Roman Road, San Helen. And there's some of the derelict buildings there of Ruthalion, the ghost village. Right, San Helen actually continues up there. Another one of the uh, derelict buildings. Right, uh, just clean the lens. Bit of a shower. Yeah, this uh, Ruthalion called the Abandoned Village because it used to be a mining community. Uh, the cottages here they used to have a chapel that used to double as a school and when the mining work dried up, the mines closed, they just simply up sticks and just left the place. It was just literally abandoned so that's why it's called the Abandoned Village of Ruthalion or the Ghost Village or 
the forgotten village. Steps leading up to the front door there. The fireplace. Whether it's haunted or not, who's to say, but I've visited this place loads of times and it was this fireplace here that I took a photo of and, and there's a massive orb in it captured on camera and I took loads of other photos but nothing else appeared on them just that orb by that fireplace there so whether it's haunted is another thing I'd like to think so Amazing how they built these buildings all out of all this these stones and slate and amazing. Another fireplace there. And I don't know whether it's me, but every time I visit this place, <coughs> there's sort of like an atmosphere here. It's weird. I've visited loads, you know, other derelict, derelict buildings and places like that. It's just something about this, this Rudolion. It's just a, you know, I don't know, it's like an atmosphere here. Like I say, whether it's just me. And uh, I wouldn't recommend going in there on a windy day because that looks like it's about to topple over. You wouldn't want that landing on you. Uh, this is the church that used to double up as the school and you can see it's, this has been renovated Okay, I've left uh, Trudolion now and I'm back on San Helen, the Roman road and it is very rocky and very steep and very long. Oh, just give you a bit of a, a look now, spin round. Um, this is just a very small section of it. I'll zoom in but I don't know if you can if it'll make out the actual path you can see way way down in the distance there. And this is just a little small section of it. It's quite a very long and take it from me it may not look it but it's it extremely steep and like I said I'm uh, dropping back down into better snow just a bit higher up than Pentra D I could have um, made my way to Shrudolion from this route but I decided to go through past Llyn Elsie, makes a bit of a more longer walk with a few more features to it. Circular walk as well. I tend to enjoy the circular walls, walks more than, you know, doing a walk to whatever you want to get to, turning around and walking back. That the way you've, uh, you've come, like so. Anyway, just got to watch your foot in. <laughs> Very stony and very steep.
Well, I'm back in Betos, so that means the end of the walk. Thanks for joining me on my little trip up to Finelsi and the Ghost Village. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again. Well, as you can see there, 11 o'clock on St Mary's Church there, and it's going to be a bit of a showery day, and there's a fucking car coming. Fuck off. <laughs>